YouTube and TikTok automation are the best ways to get rich online right now. You can run accounts from anywhere, and it's free, unlike other ways to make money online. Furthermore, due to crazy new AI tools, you can now make your content completely faceless. There are tons of niches out there, so it's key that you pick the right one when starting out. In this video, I'll show you a new niche that I guarantee you won't have seen before. This niche is so good that got a new account from 0 to 41,000 followers with only 20 videos. I'll then show you exactly how you can create this viral sort of content to do this for yourself. But you need to hurry, lock in, and get to work before this niche becomes saturated. So this is the TikTok page. They're posting in this time travel niche, and their videos all go viral. As you can see, they exploded with their first video that got them 2 million views. By the end of this video, you'll be able to replicate this content so you can blow up your own page also. Here's one of their videos so you get an idea of what they're posting. Attention everyone, I am a genuine time traveler, and I am going to reveal the most unexpected natural disasters that will occur in the years to come. In my time, 2023 and 2024 are considered years marked by unprecedented events. Don't click off now, it's time to get to work. In this video's description, there's a Google Doc with everything we'll use. The first link is a link to my school community. Join it if you really want to go viral. The second link is to some accounts. If you guys are outside the creativity program regions, then these give you access to the program from all over the world. Let's now set up our account. This is really important on TikTok because if you're able to develop a sense of branding, then the followers will come running in, letting you generate money sooner. So we need a name and a profile pic. For the name, head to Namelix. Once on here, I'm going to enter time travel into this box as this is our main keyword. Just click through all the options on the next page and you should be left with options that look like this. There are many to choose from, so pick one out and we can go over to creating our profile pic. To get your profile picture, you went to head to Leonardo using the link in the Google Doc. Once you're on here, head to image creation. Once on this page, you wanna make sure that the preset is set to Leonardo Phoenix. With that in place, head below the setting and find this one to change the image dimensions. You want to change the image dimensions to one by one, so we have a square image to use for our profile picture. Our settings are now done, so I'm going to head to the prompt box. You can enter whatever you like, but I'll go for a time traveler standing in front of a large clock face. I'll now hit generate and skip ahead. As you can see, the AI has left me with four amazing options. You want to go ahead and just save the one you like the most and set it as your profile picture. Right guys, our account is set up properly. Stay with me as I now show you exactly how to create viral content in just a few simple steps. Head to the Google Doc and click the third link to chat GPT. Okay, so we need to start by asking the AI for five predictions for 2025. I need this from a time traveler's perspective and so I'll include that in my prompt. I'll leave this prompt in the Google Doc so you guys can copy it over. If I fast forward, you can now see that the AI has left us with a 1000 character script. Now stay with me now, as I'll show you exactly how to generate a viral voiceover. So head to 11 Labs using the link in the Google Doc. Once I'm here, you want to pick a voice from this drop-down menu. I've gone with a deep one as I think it fits the mood of our video. Once your voice is selected, paste in your script. You can see that my script is over 1000 characters, which means my voiceover will be over one minute long. Now hit generate speech once you're happy and download the voiceover when it's done. We now need to clean our voiceover. This is basically the process of removing dead air, which results in our voice ever been 10 times more engaging. These are the secrets that the top 1% of creators do on TikTok. So you wanna download this program called Descript. You can find a link to it in the Google Doc. Once you're on here, you want to head to the top right and select a new audio project. On this next page, you need to go ahead and drag in the 11 Labs voiceover we just downloaded. Once it's in place, it will start transcribing, and I'll skip ahead to when this is done. Now guys, listen up. You need to copy this exactly step by step. Head to the right and click the button that says Shorten Word Gaps. Now head to the top of your screen and make sure it looks for gaps that are over 0.2 seconds long. Now, make sure it sets those gaps to be 0.17 seconds long in. This is very precise, guys, so make sure you get it right. Once your word gaps have been shortened, all you need to do now is publish the voiceover by heading to the top right and clicking publish. Now stay with me, guys, as I'll show you exactly how to generate the background visuals that you see in these videos. So to do this, you need to start by heading back to ChatGPT. I'm now going to insert a prompt that will leave us with a ton of image prompts. 
it's basically giving us five prompts for each section of our video. This is definitely enough to make for a viral video, and it means we can change the image every few seconds to keep our video engaging. If you guys want this prompt, it will be in the Google Doc. With our image prompts now done, head back to Leonardo, and we can turn these into actual images. Once you're back on Leonardo, we really quickly need to change the image dimension. Hit this more button, and then click on the option that says TikTok to put our videos in the TikTok format. With this done, you now want to swing back to ChatGPT and copy over your first image prompt. Head back to Leonardo, paste it into the generation box, and go ahead and hit generate. I'll skip to when our first image is done. As you can see guys, we're now left with this insane image, and I think these look amazing. We now need to copy over the rest of our prompts and generate all our images until we got every single one. I will skip to when I've done this. As you can see, we now have all our images, and these genuinely look unreal. You want to download them all, and this step is now done. Keep watching guys, as I'll now show you how to edit, upload, and then talk about some insane monetization strategies that don't include the creativity program that you may not know about. Real quick guys, I wanna talk about my school community. This is a place where the top 1% learn how to go viral on TikTok. If you really wanna stand out from everyone else doing this stuff, then you really need to join here, as there are secrets that I don't reveal on my YouTube channel that you really should know if you wanna go viral on TikTok. Check out on the video's description. Let's now edit everything together. Head to Cap, and the first thing you wanna do is import everything we've gathered. The first thing that I'll do is find our voiceover and drag it onto the timeline like so. Now with the voiceover selected, I'm going to head to the top right and increase its volume to a value of around five. This is just because Eleven Lab's voiceover is slightly quiet. With that done, I'm going to start by dragging in all our images. All you need to do is drag your images over what's being said in the voiceover and make sure the image matches the speech. I'll fast forward this bit, but if I zoom in, you can see I'm going through the process of playing the speech and then finding a relevant image that I can overlay over the voiceover. I finally cropping the image so that it ends a suitable point also. I'll skip to when this process is done. As you can see, I now have a timeline full of images. We now want to make our images move. To do this, select your first image and then hit animation in the top right. Now hit combo and you wanna click on different animations to try them all out. Once you have one you like, stick with it. I'm now going to do this for all of our images. As you can see here, I'm picking a different animation for each one and this difference in animations helps to keep the video really engaging. You want to repeat this for your entire timeline and I'll skip ahead to when it's done. The next thing we wanna do is add captions. Hit text on the top left then hit auto captions, then hit generate. This will take some time, so I'll skip ahead. Now the text is in place, you firstly wanna drag it to the middle of your screen. Once it's here, you wanna hit templates in the top right. Scroll through these and pick one that suits our video. I'll go with this one. It looks really clean for our video and I think it fits really well. Now that our captions are done, we now wanna add some effects to our video. Hit the effects tab in the top left and once you're on here, for black noise. This is the effect that adds all the particles, and I'm going to go ahead and drag the effect onto our timeline. As I want this effect for every image, I'm going to drag it out across the entire timeline. You can now see that our video now has these flickering bits. You wanna go ahead and add different effects onto your timeline. Some good ones are fire, firefly, it doesn't matter which one, just make sure each image has a different effect like so. I'll skip to when all of our images are done. With our effects done, I'll now add a filter to our video. There are loads to choose from, but I think that I'll go with this one called Blue Hour. Similar to the black noise effect, I'll drag it onto our timeline and extend its duration across our whole image. It's a little too strong, so I'll head to the top right and drag this slider down to around 30%. All right guys, last step. Hit adjustment in the top right and add a custom adjustment to your timeline. Just like we did with the filter, drag it out so it lasts the entire duration of your video. Once that's done, you want to head to the top right and start by changing the saturation value to 10. This will make our video more vibrant. With that done, scroll down and change the vignette to a value of 20. This will darken our corners and give our video this really clean effect. Our video is now done now, so export it. I'll show you guys to finish result, but make sure to keep watching as I'll talk about the most important part in this entire process, which is posting, and then I'll talk about some crazy monetization tricks. Here's the finished result. I am a real time traveler. Here are five shocking things that will happen in 2025. First, a massive solar flare will disrupt global communications and power grids, causing blackouts across multiple continents for days. 
The world will scramble to adapt to this sudden technological collapse. Second, a major breakthrough in quantum computing will revolutionize AI. All right, guys, head to TikTok and begin the process of posting your video. The first thing you want to do is add a sound. Find a sound you like. Make sure it fits the mystery time travel theme that we're going for. Once it's in place, you want to reduce its volume so it doesn't drown out our voiceover. That's how to add music. You now want to head to the next page. Here you want to add a caption along the lines of, the last one is crazy. You also want to add five relevant hashtags to the video so you can categorize it more. I talk more about posting in my school community if you're interested. All right, go ahead and post your video. Don't click off now. I'll now show you how you can monetize this content. So we all know you have the creativity program, but the requirements are quite strict. What you could do is set up things like an ebook using beacons that can make you money before the creativity program. You can use ChatGPT to write this for you and then sell it through beacons. Link in the Google Doc. If you guys want to learn some secret ways to make money, and in some cases, make more than the creativity program, then join my school community. You can also have me personally review your content, and I'll point you in the right direction to going viral. That's all for today's video. Bye.